Three Brothers Chapter 1, The Three Brothers The forest was alive with the sound of rustling leaves and the chirping of birds. The sun had just risen over the horizon, casting its golden light on the trees and the underbrush. Kaldzath, Rorik Fury, and Cyrinus, three brothers from the small village of Harkon, were setting out on a journey that would take them across the realm of Altha. Kaldzath, the eldest of the three, was a ranger who had spent most of his life exploring the forests and mountains of Altha. He wore a hooded cloak of green and brown, with a quiver of arrows strapped to his back and a bow in his hand. Rorik Fury, the middle brother, was a hulking barbarian with rippling muscles and a bushy beard. He carried a massive two-handed axe and wore a leather vest and pants. Cyrinos, the youngest brother, was a cleric with a shaved head and a serene expression. He wore a white robe with golden trim and carried a staff of polished oak. The brothers had been summoned by the High King of Altha, who had heard of their bravery and skill. He had tasked them with a mission to retrieve a powerful artifact that had been lost for centuries. The artifact was said to be a key that could unlock the gate to the underworld, where an ancient evil was rumored to be stirring. As the three brothers made their way through the forest, Kaltzath kept his senses alert for any signs of danger. Rorik Fury walked with a purposeful stride, his axe resting on his shoulder. Cyrinus walked behind them, humming a soft tune to himself. After several hours of travel, they reached a clearing where a group of bandits was waiting for them. The bandits were armed with swords and daggers, and they looked hungry for a fight. Kaldzith drew his bow and fired an arrow, striking one of the bandits in the chest. Rorik Fury charged forward with a roar, swinging his axe and cleaving one of the bandits in half. Cyrinus chanted a prayer and raised his staff, sending a beam of radiant energy that blinded the remaining bandits. In moments, the bandits were defeated, and the brothers continued on their journey. As they traveled deeper into the forest, they encountered a tribe of goblins who were blocking their path. The goblins were armed with crude spears and clubs, and they looked eager to attack. Kaltzith and Rorik Fury charged forward, cutting down the goblins with their weapons. Cyrinus cast a spell that sent a wave of healing energy through the brothers, restoring their strength and vitality. The brothers continued on their journey, facing many more challenges and battles along the way. But with their courage, skill, and determination, they overcame every obstacle in their path. They knew that the fate of Alpha was in their hands, and they were determined to succeed in their quest. As the sun began to set in the west, the brothers reached the edge of the forest and saw the towering mountains that lay ahead of them. They knew that their journey was far from over, but they were ready for whatever lay ahead. With a final glance at the forest behind them, they set off towards the mountains, ready to face whatever challenges awaited them. Chapter 2 The mountain pass The three brothers made their way towards the looming mountains, their determination never faltering. Kaldzith led the way, his eyes fixed on the winding path that led up the mountain. Roeg Fury followed close behind, his axe at the ready. Cyrinus walked behind them, a sense of calm radiating from him. As they climbed higher and higher up the mountain, the air grew colder and the wind picked up. The path became treacherous, with loose rocks and narrow ledges that threatened to send them tumbling down the steep slopes. Kaltzath navigated the path with ease, using his experience as a ranger to avoid any potential dangers. Rorik Fury, despite his size, moved with surprising grace and agility, his muscles rippling as he leapt across gaps and scrambled up steep inclines. Cyrinus, ever serene, chanted prayers under his breath, summoning protective spells that shielded them from the harsh mountain elements. As they ascended the mountain, they came upon a narrow pass that led between two towering cliffs. The pass was shrouded in darkness, and the brothers could hear strange whispers and hissing sounds coming from within. Kaldzith drew his bow, ready for whatever lay ahead. As they entered the pass, they saw that it was inhabited by a tribe of kobolds, small lizard-like creatures that were armed with crude weapons and shields. 
The kobolds screeched and hissed as they charged towards the brothers, eager to defend their territory. Kaltsa fired arrows at the oncoming kobolds, taking down several of them before they reached the brothers. Rorik Fury charged forward, his axe swinging in wide darks as he cut down any kobold that came near him. Sirinus chanted prayers that sent waves of healing energy through the brothers, keeping them strong and resilient. The kobolds fought with fierce determination, but they were no match for the three brothers. In moments, the kobolds lay defeated, and the brothers continued on their journey. As they emerged from the pass, they saw that they had reached the top of the mountain. Before them lay a vast expanse of snow and ice, with a glittering fortress in the distance. This was the home of the Frost Giants, a race of towering giants that were known for their strength and ferocity. The brothers knew that their mission was to retrieve the artifact that lay within the Frost Giants' fortress. But they also knew that the Frost Giants would not give up their treasure easily. They steeled themselves for the battle ahead, knowing that they would need all of their courage and skill to succeed. With a final glance at each other, the brothers set off towards the fortress, ready to face the challenges that lay ahead. They knew that the fate of Alpha rested on their shoulders, and they were determined to see their mission through to the end. Chapter 3 The Frost Giant's Fortress The brothers approached the Frost Giant's Fortress with caution, knowing that they were vastly outnumbered and outmatched. The fortress was made of ice and stone, with towering walls that seemed to stretch up into the sky. It was surrounded by a moat of icy water, and the only way to enter was through a drawbridge that was guarded by a group of heavily armed frost giants. Kaltseth scouted the area, looking for any potential weaknesses in the fortress's defenses. Roic Fury flexed his muscles, ready for a fight, while Sirinus whispered prayers under his breath, preparing for battle. The brothers knew that they needed a distraction to get past the frost giants guarding the drawbridge. Kaltseth suggested that he create a diversion by starting a fire on the other side of the fortress, while Roic Fury and Sirinus would take advantage of the distraction to sneak across the drawbridge. The plan worked perfectly. Kaltseth created a blaze on the other side of the fortress, drawing the attention of the frost giants guarding the drawbridge. While they were distracted, Roric Fury and Sirinus darted across the drawbridge and into the fortress. Once inside, they quickly realized that they were in the heart of the Frost Giant's stronghold. The walls were lined with weapons and armor, and they could hear the sounds of Frost Giants moving about in the distance. Rorik Fury led the way, his axe at the ready. They crept through the halls, staying close to the walls to avoid being seen. The air was cold and still, and their breath came out in visible puffs. As they moved deeper into the fortress, they came across a chamber that was guarded by several frost giants. The chamber was filled with treasures, including the artifact that they had come to retrieve. Roic Fury and Sirinus knew that they would have to fight their way past the frost giants to reach it. Roric Fury charged forward, his axe cleaving through the air as he attacked the frost giants. Sirinus stayed back, using his healing spells to keep Roic Fury strong and resilient. The battle was fierce, with the frost giants fighting with all of their strength and ferocity. But Roic Fury and Sirinus were determined to succeed. They fought with all of their skill and courage, never backing down even in the face of overwhelming odds. In the end, they emerged victorious, the frost giants lying defeated at their feet. With a sense of triumph, Roric Fury and Sirinus retrieved the artifact and made their way back through the fortress. They knew that their mission was a success, and that they had saved the people of Alpha from certain doom. As they emerged from the fortress, they were greeted by Kaldseth, who had made his way back to them. They looked at each other, their faces tired but triumphant. We did it, Roric Fury said, his voice filled with pride. Yes, Sirinus agreed. We did it together. And with that, the three brothers set off down the mountain, ready to return to Alpha and deliver the artifact that would save their people from the darkness that threatened to consume them. As they made their way down the mountain, 
the brothers couldn't help but feel a sense of relief and accomplishment. They had faced insurmountable odds and emerged victorious, and the artifact they now carried would help protect their people from the darkness that had been looming over them. The journey back to Alpha was long and arduous, but the brothers didn't falter. They pushed themselves to the limit, determined to get back to their people as quickly as possible. The closer they got to their destination, the more their hearts swelled with hope and anticipation. Finally, they arrived back in Alpha. The people of the city gathered around them, eager to hear news of their journey. The brothers recounted their adventure, telling tales of the Frost Giant's fortress and the battles they had fought. The people listened with rapt attention, hanging on every word. And when the brothers produced the artifact they had retrieved, the people erupted into cheers and applause. Over the next few days, the brothers worked with the city's scholars and priests to activate the artifact and use it to protect Alpha from the darkness. It was a difficult and complex process, but the brothers persevered, using their unique skills and strengths to contribute to the effort. In the end, their efforts paid off. The artifact activated, unleashing a wave of energy that spread throughout the city filling the hearts of the people with hope and dispelling the darkness that had been threatening them. The sky cleared, and the sun shone brightly once again. The people of Alpha were forever grateful to the three brothers who had saved them from certain doom. They hailed Kaltseth the Ranger, Rorik Fury the Barbarian, and Sirinus the Cleric as heroes, and their names became synonymous with bravery and courage. But the brothers knew that their work was not yet done. They had faced one great challenge, but there were surely more to come. And so they set out on a new adventure, eager to face whatever dangers lay ahead and protect the people they loved. Chapter 4, The Dark Forest After their successful mission to retrieve the artifact, the three brothers continued their travels, eager for new adventures and challenges. As they journeyed through the land, they came across rumors of a dark forest, a place where the trees whispered secrets and strange creatures lurked in the shadows. Despite the rumors, the brothers were undaunted. They knew that the journey ahead would be dangerous, but they were determined to explore the mysterious forest and discover its secrets. As they entered the forest, they could feel the air grow colder and the light grow dimmer. The trees loomed overhead, their branches stretching out like bony fingers. The ground was covered in a thick layer of moss and fallen leaves, and the only sound was the rustling of the wind through the leaves. The brothers moved forward cautiously, alert for any signs of danger. As they walked, they noticed that the forest seemed to be alive with an eerie energy, as though something were watching them from the shadows. Suddenly, they heard a faint whispering sound. It seemed to be coming from the trees themselves, as though the forest were speaking to them. They couldn't make out the words, but the sound sent a chill down their spines. As they continued deeper into the forest, they came across a clearing. In the center of the clearing stood a towering tree, its branches stretching high into the sky. The tree was surrounded by a circle of stones, and the air around it shimmered with an otherworldly energy. Rorik Fury, always eager for a fight, stepped forward to investigate. But as he approached the tree, a dark shape emerged from the shadows, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. It was a creature unlike anything the brothers had ever seen before. It was tall and thin, with skin as black as night and eyes that glowed like embers. Its long fingers were tipped with razor-sharp claws, and its teeth gleamed in the dim light. The creature hissed and lunged at Rorik Fury, its claws slashing through the air. But Roeg Fury was quick, dodging the attack and striking back with his axe. The battle was fierce, with the creature moving with a supernatural speed and agility. But Roeg Fury was determined, and his axe struck true. With the final blow, he felled the creature, its body collapsing to the ground in a heap. As the brothers caught their breath and surveyed the scene, they realized that they had stumbled upon a place of great power. The dark forest and the creature they had defeated were tied to ancient magic, and the circle of stones around the tree was a portal to another realm. 
They knew that they had stumbled upon something greater than they could have imagined, and they resolved to explore the mysteries of the dark forest and unlock its secrets. But for now, they rested, knowing that they had faced a great challenge and emerged victorious. As they rested in the clearing, the brothers discussed their next course of action. They knew that the dark forest was filled with unknown dangers, but they also couldn't ignore the powerful magic that seemed to be emanating from the area. Coldsnath, ever the scout, suggested that they explore the surrounding area and try to gather more information about the forest and its mysteries. Rorik Fury, meanwhile, was eager to delve deeper into the portal and explore the other realm that lay beyond. Sirinus, however, cautioned against rushing headlong into danger. He reminded his brothers that they needed to be cautious and tread carefully, as the power of the magic they were dealing with could be unpredictable and dangerous. The brothers eventually agreed to a plan, they would explore the forest and its surroundings, gathering as much information as they could. They would also keep a watchful eye out for any further signs of danger, and work together to keep each other safe. As they continued deeper into the forest, the brothers encountered a variety of strange and otherworldly creatures. There were creatures made of shadow, with eyes that glowed like hot coals. There were twisted trees that reached out with their branches to ensnare unsuspecting travelers. And there were sinister whispers that seemed to follow them wherever they went. Despite the danger, the brothers pushed on. They were driven by a thirst for knowledge and a desire to unlock the secrets of the dark forest. As they explored deeper, they came across another clearing. This one was different from the first, however, as it was filled with a soft, warm light. In the center of the clearing stood a small cottage, its walls made of logs and its roof thatched with straw. The brothers approached cautiously, unsure of what they might find. But as they drew closer, they heard the sound of laughter and music coming from inside. Inside the cottage, they found an old woman sitting by the fire. She was small and wrinkled, with eyes that sparkled like diamonds. She welcomed the brothers warmly, offering them food and drink and regaling them with tales of the forest and its secrets. As they talked, the woman revealed that she was a powerful witch, and that she knew many of the secrets of the dark forest. She offered to help the brothers in their quest, sharing her knowledge and guiding them through the dangers of the forest. The brothers were wary, knowing that powerful magic could be dangerous and unpredictable. But they were also intrigued by the woman's offer, and they decided to accept her help. Together, they continued their journey through the dark forest, guided by the wise old witch. They encountered new dangers and overcame new challenges but they also learned more about the magic and mysteries of the forest. In the end, they emerged from the forest wiser and stronger, with a newfound appreciation for the power and wonder of magic. They knew that they had faced a great challenge and emerged victorious, and they were eager for the next adventure that lay ahead. Chapter 5, The Trial of Fire and Ice The brothers' journey had taken them far and wide, and they had seen wonders beyond their wildest imaginations. But as they emerged from the dark forest, they realized that they were not yet done with their adventure. Standing before them was a great mountain, its snow-capped peak towering high into the sky. The mountain seemed to call to them, promising untold treasures and secrets hidden within its depths. Without hesitation, the brothers set out to climb the mountain. The air grew thinner as they ascended, and the climb became more treacherous with each step. But they were determined to reach the top, driven by the promise of discovery and adventure. After many long hours of climbing, they finally reached the summit. As they looked out across the land, they saw a sight that took their breath away. Below them lay a vast valley, filled with green forests, sparkling rivers, and rolling hills and at the center of the valley stood a great castle, its walls gleaming in the sun. The brothers knew that they had found their next adventure. They set out for the castle, eager to explore its secrets and discover the treasures that lay within. As they approached the castle, they were greeted by a group of knights. The knights, 
impressed by the brothers' courage and determination, welcomed them warmly and invited them inside. Inside the castle, the brothers found themselves in a great hall filled with people of all kinds. There were knights and nobles, peasants and artisans, all gathered together in celebration. The brothers soon learned that the castle was hosting a great tournament, and that the winner would be granted a great prize, a powerful magical artifact that could grant any wish. Excited by the prospect of winning such a powerful prize, the brothers decided to enter the tournament. They spent the next few days training and preparing, honing their skills and strategizing for the competition ahead. Finally, the day of the tournament arrived. The brothers entered the field, ready to do battle with the other contestants. The competition was fierce, and the brothers were pushed to their limits. But they fought with all their strength and skill, and in the end, they emerged victorious. As they stood before the castle, Holding the powerful artifact in their hands, the brothers knew that they had once again proven themselves as heroes. They knew that their adventure was far from over, and that there were still many more wonders and mysteries waiting to be discovered. And so they set out once again, ready for whatever lay ahead. With the powerful artifact in their possession, the brothers set out on their next adventure. They traveled through dense forests, crossed treacherous rivers, and climbed towering mountains. They faced fierce monsters and treacherous bandits, but they never lost sight of their goal. As they journeyed, the artifact began to reveal its secrets to them. They learned that it had the power to grant wishes, but that it came with a great cost. Each wish came at a price, and the more powerful the wish, the greater the cost. Despite the risks, the brothers continued to use the artifact hoping to bring about a better world. They wished for peace, for prosperity, for the end of hunger and suffering. But with each wish, they began to see the cost. The land grew barren, the rivers dried up, and the forests withered away. The people they had hoped to help began to suffer, as their world was slowly destroyed. Realizing the true cost of their wishes, the brothers decided to use the artifact one last time. They wished for the power to restore the world to its former glory, to undo the damage they had caused. Their wish was granted, but at a great cost. The artifact was destroyed, and the brothers were left to face the consequences of their actions. They returned to their home, humbled and wiser for their experiences. They knew that they had made mistakes, but they also knew that they had learned from them. And they knew that they had made a difference in the world even if it had come at a great cost. As they sat together, reflecting on their adventure, they realized that they had grown closer as brothers. They had faced challenges and overcome them, and they had learned to trust and rely on each other. And so they made a vow to always stand together, to always be there for each other no matter what. For they knew that the greatest adventure of all was the journey of life, and that it was always better when taken with those you loved. Chapter 6, The Sorcerer's Fortress. Years had passed since the brothers last adventured, but their bond had only grown stronger. They had settled down in a small village, where they had become well-respected members of the community. But despite their peaceful life, the brothers could not help but long for adventure. They yearned for the thrill of discovery and the excitement of the unknown. One day, a group of travelers arrived in the village, telling stories of a great danger that threatened the land. A powerful sorcerer had risen to power, and was using dark magic to terrorize the people. The villagers were afraid, but the brothers knew that they had to act. They gathered their weapons and set out to find the sorcerer, determined to put an end to his evil deeds. Their journey took them through dark forests, across perilous rivers, and into ancient ruins. They battled fierce monsters in cunning traps, but they never lost hope. Finally, they arrived at the sorcerer's fortress, a towering edifice of black stone and dark magic. The brothers knew that they had to be careful, for the sorcerer was powerful and dangerous. But they were not afraid. They had faced great challenges before, and they knew that they had each other. They stormed the fortress, their weapons flashing in the darkness. 
they battled the sorcerer's minions and overcame their traps, until they finally stood face to face with the sorcerer himself. The battle was fierce, but the brothers fought with all their might. They combined their skills and powers, using their strength and their wits to overcome the sorcerer's dark magic. Conclusion, the power of brotherhood. In the end, they emerged victorious. The sorcerer was defeated, his dark magic dispelled, and the people of the land were free once more. The villagers hailed the brothers as heroes, showering them with praise and gratitude. But the brothers knew that their greatest reward was the knowledge that they had made a difference in the world. As they made their way back to their village, the brothers knew that their adventure was far from over. They knew that there were always new challenges and dangers waiting to be faced. But they were ready. They had each other, and they had the knowledge that they could face anything, as long as they stood together. In the end, the story of Cold Seth the Ranger, Rorik Fury the Barbarian, and Sirinus the Cleric was not just one of adventure and heroism, but also one of love, loyalty, and brotherhood. Together, they faced countless dangers, battled fierce monsters, and overcame great obstacles. They learned from their mistakes and grew stronger as a result. But perhaps most importantly, they learned the true value of family and the power of love and friendship. For it was their bond as brothers that allowed them to face any challenge, and to emerge victorious time and time again. And so, as they continued to journey through life, the brothers knew that they would face many more adventures and challenges. But they were ready, for they had each other, and they knew that as long as they stood together, nothing could ever truly defeat them. The End